All right, so it's 8 a.m. of something around 8 a.m. I don't know what time it is, to be honest, but it's super early uh, of our third day in Yosemite. We spent the night at May Lake thanks to Leslie's idea. Uh, so we have to pack like our tent and everything and hike with it. Kind of like, uh, I would say, like, they say like a mile, but like, dude, a mile in Yosemite is like six miles in, in Florida. So <laughs> it was kind of like far away, but the views were impressive. Like we were sleeping in front of the lake with the beautiful Mount Hoffman in front of us. The highest peak, 10,850 feet was that peak. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend half of the day in Tulum Meadows and then we're gonna go back to the valley and then we stay there till Saturday. And we're gonna take some showers. We haven't taken a shower since Sunday morning. I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to also do a quick stop because my feet stank. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we have like uh, probably like 40 minutes, 30 minutes back to the car. I mean, it, we're going downhill, so it should be faster. Now, if you're wondering what the heck is this black stuff that I'm carrying, this is a bear canister. So whenever you go into the wilderness, there's not going to be things for you to store your food against bears. So. You go to a wilderness center because you need a permit to sleep out here. To whenever you're not gonna be in the valley or any of the campsites, if you're just gonna be in the wild, you need a wilderness permit. So there's no places to hide your um, food against bears. So they give you this. I mean, it's not that big. You just pack up for whatever you're gonna need it, and you just lock it so the bears cannot open. Although one of the service guys told me, told us that. Um, there was this bear that figured out how to open these things. He just kicks him all the way to a, to a cliff and yeah. then he just drops him yeah. so, like from far, really far up. So that way this thing will crack and he can get like the food that is out of there. But only one bear has been reporting to do that. I think his name is Jogi. Yeah, and we're back. Lower Yosemite Fall. Uh, supposedly, as close as you get, like 50 feet, you get all soak and the mist of the waterfall coming. I mean, the Yosemite Fall, I think it has two stops. First, fall from the big one that I show you, then there is another one, and then there is the lower one, where is where we're reaching at. Let's so, go get wet. Let's go get wet. building a rock tower.
this guy is doing it better than us. Yeah. Nice! <laughs> that was lower Yosemite fall. Now the plan for today is tackle the other fall, which is called Britable Falls. It's kind of like a far away from here. We're trying to do that today and to go to Glacier Point or Taft Point. We gotta choose one of those. I think today we're gonna do Taft Point. One thing they don't tell you about Yosemite, that you always see like those beautiful pictures, it's like all that crowd. Well, it's summer. July is supposed to be kind of like the busiest month for Yosemite, but dude, there was a lot of people. Okay, now we're going to Britabel Falls. Good time. This is definitely the busiest one that we've been on the trail. Mm -hmm. Lots of people here. Lots of people. Like I said, this park is just a huge playground. Look what I'm walking on. Huh? Huh? I got Graham. See? That one over there, that's the big boy of the park. El Capitan. Look at that. That is El Capitan. Look at the size of that thing. It's 3,000 feet of vertical granite from the floor all the way up. You can stack there three times the Empire State. All right, we are on the way back to our tent. No, we still have to go to Britterville Falls. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the car and drive there. There's no bus that take you there. So we have to walk for quite some time and we were like still like really far away. And we're like, let's just go back to the tent. Let's just grab the bus, go back to our campground, grab the, grab the car, grab the car what's going on with me today grab the car and let's just drive there how you doing back there she got it huh let's see got a walking stick how cool this one is look at that <laughs> You were gonna save yourself on traffic. You got another thing coming, dude. You gotta come in November, December, January, February, March, and April. Yeah, like the coldest months here, best time, no traffic at all. Or what I was telling Leslie is, next time that I come, I'm bringing the one wheel. All right, um, Britaville Falls has been canceled today. There is like way too much traffic, dude. This is like crazy. Uh, nice exodus. Yeah, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take showers. We need some showers. Last time that I took a shower was Monday morning. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take a shower. We're gonna chill out tomorrow. We got a big hide, big hike ahead of us. We got. The Misty Trail, which is Bernal Falls and Nevada Falls. Then we're gonna try to stop again at Britaville Falls. I mean, that shouldn't be a big deal because it's just parking and walking to it. And then we are gonna get out of the valley for a moment and we're gonna drive one hour up to go to Glacier Point. We'll see.
All right, one question for you guys. Do you guys think the sunsets are better in Florida or here? Just a moment. Look at that. It looks like shiny.